This is the Hoplite from Focus Research Group. It's a focus enhancement device for your night vision goggles that allows you to basically focus to infinity where stuff up close is going to be fuzzy, but also be able to close the aperture and now you've got complete focus from five feet on out to infinity. That's basically combating one of the biggest problems in using night vision goggles. You can use it very well for actions on the objective such as breaching, ladders, prisoner handling, door and window searching, things like that. Basically, you put it right over the objective lens of your night vision goggle, adjust the tension lock so it's not going to go anywhere, it's not going to fall off, and now you've got a standard uh, daylight filter cover. You flip it open, you've got your regular objective, and then you've got these various aperture pieces that are press fit on, so when you close it, you can get uh, better focus at uh, uh, closer distances or further distances, depending on what your objective is. If you're going to use it for medical, if you're going to use it for breaching, uh, whatever your role for actions on the objective. Uh, the Focus Hoplite does all this by cutting some of the light coming in to the night vision goggle itself. So this can pose a bit of a challenge, but you're basically going to counter that by using your IR illuminator. So obviously this kind of device is going to work best in uh, areas like urban environments where you're going to have a little bit more ambient light to deal with. When you flip it open, it rests safely and uh, uh, flat against the goggle, so it's not going to be getting in the way. And you've got your standard objective uh, opening here. It also doubles as a sacrificial window. When you pull it off, you can see the little snap ring on the inside. This ring can be removed, allowing you to replace the sacrificial window on the inside, uh, so you can pretty much leave the focus hoplite attached to your goggle at all times. Let's go see how this bad boy works. So here we see a target downrange, and I've got the PBS-14 set to infinity focus. The hoplite is on it, but I don't have the aperture engaged. So as you can see, the target is focused up, but as I start moving around, I've got Eric standing here in front of me, and he is quite out of focus. He's pretty blurry, you know, he does have his telltale beard going on there, but that's really the only identifying feature you can see at this distance. He's also holding the packaging for the hoplite, which is quite out of focus. So if I needed to read something up close, or uh, let's say that Eric was a prisoner I needed to take into custody or, or handle in this situation, um, I would kind of be out of luck here. I'd need to actually go ahead and refocus the PBS-14 up front, but of course that would mean I would lose infinity focus and limit my situational awareness. So now we're going to engage the hoplite, and as you can see, the target at infinity focus further away is still completely in focus, but when I move over to Eric, now I can see completely facial features. I have complete identification of who I'm dealing with, I can pan down here, and I can now see the packaging. I can start reading what's on the packaging and, and seeing the, the pamphlet that Eric's holding. So you can see while I've got both uh, near focus and far focus, infinity focus, uh, this is quite an advantage. Um, obviously this is something though because I am cutting the light, I'm limiting the light a little bit using the aperture um, that it's something that you're going to want to definitely engage your IR illuminator or be in a semi-decently uh, lit environment. So that's the Focus Research Group Hoplite. Come pick it up on our website. Thanks for watching.